Ahoy Rum Explorers! I'm Nia, I'm a rum enthusiast, and it is rum time! So today we're continuing with my Haitian rum series. I have been away for two weeks, so I apologize for the delay on these reviews, but we're going to continue. And this one is actually, I feel like it should have been the first one because it is more of a traditional rum agricole. This one is the Claron Vaval. It says that it comes from the village of Cavalon and the harvest is 2018. The sugarcane variety is Madame Muse and fermentation is spontaneous 100% sugarcane juice with wild yeast. The distillation process is pot still and the master distiller is Fritz Vaval. So remember these are spirits that are made in Haiti. So if you want to continue to enjoy this series, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can welcome you on board. I will continue to bring these very rare rums and others, so make sure you tune into my channel. Now as far as this specific series, I was able to scoop up the bottle that I mentioned on the last review, so I'm going to put that card up above so you can get a preview of that amazing bottle that I did get, and maybe, just maybe, I might do a giveaway. I'm marinating on it because I was able to scoop up two bottles at Primo's in Fort Lauderdale so um, definitely check out that review and hit that subscribe button so you can enjoy the next review now this one in specific it seems to be one of the younger type of rums like are you R -H -U -M rums um, it is very light it does say that it's produced in Cavalon which is located at the south of the country, known for its animated market and pure African style. It is made with sugarcane variety called Madame Muse and distilled in homemade unique pot still. And I recently watched the fellow creator do this amazing expose video of what's actually going on in Haiti. So I'm going to put the link down below so you can see the actual situation that's going on. It is considered one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. He did an amazing video where he exposes what's going on. And the great thing is they did put together a GoFundMe for a soup kitchen for kids there. They are starving. So if you want to go ahead and support that, I'd really appreciate it. His name is Nick and his channel is in the Go Travel. He's boots on the ground um, and he travels all over the world to these areas where everybody's not traveling. So I absolutely love his channel. I'm a huge fan. And I'm going to put that GoFundMe link down below. If you want to support that soup kitchen, people are making $3.25 salary a year. People are starving to death there. So just, I always love bringing a little bit of light to certain situations. These are amazing rums and I hope these rum companies are supporting local communities because they are produced um, and made there and bottled there so you definitely want to support these smaller distillery companies now let's go ahead to the review let's wait for that pop ooh small pop it is a cork, and as far as you can see, most of their bottles are these very thin, very colorful, beautiful labels. I am going to bring out the Rum Agricole in the Rum Aroma Training Kit, but as you can see, this is an extremely clear rum, which means, as you remember, none of these are really aged in casks but the last one was a little bit had a little bit of a tint but it was because it was a blend of multiple um rums so i'm going to bring out the rum agricole and i'm going to let this sit so as always uh, the agricole aroma is number one and i am going to put this to the side i don't see anything else that would be interesting Although this one, it does give me a little bit of citrusy, but as far as citrus, more like grapefruit. So I'm going to bring that one out as well. Citrus is number seven. If you have tried these rums, please make sure you put a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As you know, these rum agricoles or these particular rums are H-U-M, are very controversial in the rum world. 
because either you love it or you hate it. I specifically have loved the last two. And this one is more like a traditional Rome Agricole. There's a lot of uh, big funky funky notes to it, very grassy and herbaceous. As far as the rum, the journal rum type, this is gonna be a rum agricole. As far as the gargano rum type classification, it's gonna be a pure single agricole. The ABV on this one is 49.5, but you do get a lot of linger and heat um, at the end, and it you do get a little bit of a hug, but the main thing that i noticed is that it has a very long lingering like grapefruit or lime peel lingering on the back of your palate now i did let this rest for 10 minutes but i did still feel like it was a medium as far as from harsh to smooth and then as far as the royal rum society code classifications between dry and sweet i gave this a four so from a one to a nine i gave this a four because this is more of a grassy herbal rum agricole versus the other ones that I've tried. This one is more of, I would say, not an entry-level rum agricole for anybody out there. If you are not a big fan of rum agricoles, I definitely do not suggest buying this one. But if you actually do like this, this has the traditional very um, grassy notes or like fresh cut sugar cane. That's what, that's what I get. Not so much the sweetness. And then it's very heavy like on the licorice or star anise taste. Um, or flavors or notes when I taste it. Then as far as the whiskey exchange flavor camps, I am giving this a herbaceous and grassy. As far as the flavors that I detected in notes, I gave it um, grapefruit, citrus, licorice, and star anise as mentioned before. So... As far as the Royal Rum Society's taste code, this is going to be a 4, C as in Charlie, M as in Mike. Me personally, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and compare this with the Rum Agricole from the Roma Roma Training Kit. As you know thus far, the San Zange was the closest to the Aroma Kit. Let's see this one. This one's very close too. Wow, that's very interesting. I, I'd also say there's a little bit of fusel oil aroma, and that's number 11, but I'm not going to bring that out now. But let's go ahead to the citrus. Because as far as the palate, there's a very heavy um, citrus acidic finish to it, kind of like grapefruit. Wow, that's really, really weak, so I'm re-dipping this. Okay, so this is very similar to what I'm getting on the palette. So, I'm gonna agree. As far as the Roma Roma training kit, the Roma Agricole matches. Not perfectly, but very close. And then as far as citrus, citrus is in there as well. But as mentioned before, this is like a citrus peel, so like the oil of a citrus. And that's what I'm getting on this. Thus far, comparing the three bottles, I'm glad I had this. Um, this is actually one of Phil's favorite Rome Agricoles from Haiti. He prefers this one to the other two. I personally prefer the very first one, the Rocher, because it is kind of savory. This one's more of a traditional Rome Agricole. So I'm going to say that sadly it is not Ooh. treasure chest approved. But I think it's a great addition to the collection. If you do love traditional Rome Agricoles, definitely go and scoop this up. This bottle was, I think, $65 if I'm not mistaken. And you are getting 700 mLs for this. So pricing-wise, considering it's a very niche distillery, it's a small craft distillery. But for me personally, I don't think it's worth the $65. If I had to buy this again, I would not. I'd rather spend it on another bottle of Rocher or the Saint Zange. So just remember, if you have not watched those videos, make sure you do because those rums are definitely, definitely some you want to go out there and buy right away. Well, that's it for my review. I appreciate you watching this video. Once again, if you not hit that subscribe button, please do so so I can welcome you on board. I am trying to hit 
to the 1,000 subscribers. And when I do so, Phil and I are gonna do the one chip challenge. So now, 70% of you are watching my videos but not subscribing. So I hope this entices you. I'm gonna do a live video where I'm gonna we're gonna do the one chip challenge. What is the one chip challenge? If you're not here in the US, it's basically a chip dipped in Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Pepper. We're gonna do this live. So again, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of content coming through and I look forward to the next Haitian rum. Cheers!